Oh, that Eddie, that Eddie, that Eddie. Oh, he just, he just angers me so bad. He really does. Like, come on, fruit cookie. I want to pull my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. What cookie? Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for If Loving You Is Wrong. This is season four, episode two. This is our premiere. It was a two night premiere for season four. Um, pretty good, pretty good. But like I said, that Eddie, I can't with Eddie. Eddie done got on my nerves already and we ain't been into, we ain't three weeks in and Eddie done got on my nerves. But Eddie and Lucia sitting there and here it was, he was lying, lying about Kelly. Kelly ain't died. And you know, that just made me, I said, God damn it, Tyler. I was all on board. I was cool. This bitch ain't dead. I wanted to get in there and kill her my goddamn self. I said, Look, don't get me started. I see I was doing good. I, I got through a whole episode. I didn't read nobody. I didn't come after Tyler. Well, guess what? We're right on schedule. Tyler, god damn it. Could you please, if you kill a bitch, leave the bitch dead. Stop breathing life into these whores. Anyway. Huh. I told you I wasn't going to fuss no more, but I told y'all that about the have and the have not. So I never said I wasn't going to fuss about if loving you is wrong. I'm going to fuss. So just get ready. Let's go. She should be dead. Dead. Dead as hell to the bed. <laughs> Dead. Oh, I can't stand her. She drives me nuts. Anyway, then Eddie's sitting over there making fun of black folks. So just carrying on talking about mm, that aff affirmative action is a bitch, ain't it? Just out of order. Just out of order. And I'm like, Lucian is going to beat the brakes off of you one day if you don't cut it out. He really is. He's going to tear your ass down if you don't quit, honey. Keep on. Anyway, let's go over to the house. Natalie and Esperanza. Esperanza is a judgmental slut. She really is. She is a judgmental slut. You are running around, busting it wide open on countertops and sneaking men in windows, and leaving lights on, and carrying on, and burying your head in the sand, and ain't on the beach, bitch. But you all judgmental about just everything. And it, it, she just comes off that, I just feel like, mm -mm, you be doing too much. And you know Natalie's judgmental, but that's Natalie. You know what I mean? That's always been her. But she she leads a decent life. She ain't running around, busting it open, sneaking and carrying on. You know, not like uh, Esperanza, who never goes to work. And when you're there, you're not doing that work around, hoard around. Anyway, mess. Then we got Randall, and the cops came to his house. And um, just ridiculous. It was just absolutely ridiculous. He's down there. I wanted somebody to tear him up, too. Got them in there, wasted their time. He uh, said, oh, no, I know. He called, talking about it was Brad that did it. I said, Lord, they're going to look on the camera and they're going to see that it's Marcy. But Marcy stole the hard drive, so there is no footage. And he's so mad, he's going to say, well played, bitch. I said, mm -hmm. And that Rick with his fine self had went down there. He was giving uh, Officer Rick a hard time. Child, when he told Rick, get the hell out of my house, you bastard. And Rick turned around and said, what did you say? Did you see Rick's face? I said, oh, all right, hey, Rick, honey. What's going on, Rick? I ain't never liked Rick before because Rick was being a jerk to Kelly, and we found out in this episode why, but that Rick is a cutie, honey. Anyway, moving on. Um, Brad finally got his girl, Marcy. Got her. Marcy's up there drinking all this liquor. I mean, drink, like a water glass of vodka. Like, girl, who does that? 
just drinking, 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 and still talking crazy, telling them you were in the, in the military. I know you know someone who could kill him. And he's like, stop talking like that. And and she's so comfortable with her crazy and telling him about how you put the mother of his children in a barn and set the bitch on fire. Marcy, girl, you are crazy. You are nuts. I said, Lord have mercy. Just too much. Um, it, it was it was too much. She did tell him that she took the hard drive and she was getting ready to leave. She got a phone call from Ian to take him his keys. And I was like, why are you going to let her drive? She going to have an accident. Because you know, Tyler's big on symbolism. And I was like, this looked like you setting her up for a car accident, but okay. I was, I was like, over Brad that he even let her go, but she was, she went. Um, I wanted to see I wanted to see what was going to go on because Brad was looking at that hard drive like he was going to go through the hard drive. I think he want he, he wants to see maybe it's going to be on there. Here I go. I'm getting ready to tell the story of what should happen. Tyler, damn it! If this happens, I want my money. I'm serious. I ain't playing with you. I want my damn money. But I'm thinking on that hard drive. Whenever. Brad actually looks on that hard drive. He won't actually get to see who Kelly, Kelly, Lord, not Kelly, who Alex really then screwed in that bit. Because, see, we still at that whole thing. There was this whole conversation with Natalie Esperanza and Alex. And Alex basically told them that the baby, she kept saying the baby is Randall's. There's been some mix up. But, you know, the test is saying that the baby ain't, ain't Randall. I believe that on that hard drive, He's going to see some coming and going, and we're going to see who the baby's daddy really is. Now, when you do this, Tyler, I ain't playing with you. I want my damn money. I ain't playing. I'm going to come for you. I want my damn money. Anyway, so yeah, he was looking at it like, I said, mm, I think the answer to all your answers to all your questions is on that hard drive, but okay. So let's go back down to the jailhouse. Lucian goes to see Kelly. And he mentioned Eddie's name. And she told him, no, Eddie never came to her cell because he still believes that Eddie is the one that gave her the shoelaces. That's what we didn't know. Who gave her the shoestring? Where did she get the shoestring from to actually hang herself? Mm -hmm. But he was looking at her and noticing she is acting all loose. Bitch is gone. She's gone. She's all loose, and she is. She's very, very weak. She's very weak. She's a weak person. That's why they're in the position that they're in. Very weak. Um, and I really wanted her to die. I just, and I know that's bad. That's mean. But I wanted her gone. My bad actor. Goodbye, bitch. Natalie will take care of justice. You can go. Mess. All that old. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, girl. Shut up, honey. Anyway, moving on. Um, so we don't know whose goddamn baby it is. Alex is a tramp. Ain't no telling. Oh, Lord. Anyway. Randall done got his eyes on the girl across the street. He done bust out and seen Miss Tanya. Or Tanya from across the street. And she has OCD. Bad. I looked, I said, what girl is she doing? She in and out of the house, in and out of the house, in and out of the house. They made her look real, real crazy. Keep going to the mailbox. And he picked up on it. Of course, you know, he's a psychologist anyway. So he's like, oh, a little OCD. He's like, oh, this might be fun. And she kind of cute too. You know, he just a child. Long as she white, he down. She, she little, she just as dumpy. Now, at least Alex is, you know, Alex did got some looks. Damn, Tanya or Tanya, she just as dumpy and tired. I said, you just, all she had to be was white for you, and you was down with, get down. A mess. Anyway, but whenever um, Alex and Natalie and Esperanza was talking, is the first time we see Miss Tonya in action, honey, because her husband was his fine ass. Fine. That Bennett is fine. He came over there, and he's talking, and I noticed he was all in Alex's face, grinning and smiling. I said, look at this whore. 
And she was just like, oh, you look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, he saved me from out of the ball. You were wonderful. I said, look at her, ready to drop to her knees. You filthy whore! But I understood the girl. He's fine. That Bennett was fine. Honey, next thing you know, honey, Miss Tonya came stomping like Miss Sophia, honey, and said, you're going to be late for work. I said, oh. <laughs> I said, girl, you over there would throw mama from the train, honey. She got his ass, and he was like, oh, see y'all later. She was like, honey, no, no. He said, this is my wife, Tonya. She turned, she looked at them bitches and turned. <laughs> Her mouth and walked away. She didn't even say hi. She's like, fuck them whores. She's doing right. You doing right. Cause you know good and well you look like you from the Honey Boo Boo show. And you know them whores across the channel, all three of them. Natalie, Alex, and Esperanza, especially Esperanza. They look like competition and they all was over there looking at Bennett like he was a snack. Girl, you did right. She gave them bitches her ass to kiss. She went right. Back across the street. I don't blame her. Trust no one. Question everyone, girl. Especially when you got you a fireman, girl. But I said, come on, Bennett. Come and shake it up the damn block. Anyway, then Esperanza takes her ass. Because Lucian came home and he was like, oh, okay. And he said that he was supposed to be having uh, drinks down to the bar with Steven and the rest of the guys. But he wasn't going to go. Then Esperanza take her little ass and got half dressed and went on down there to the pub and ran so she could run into Steven. But this is what I'm loving. Steven has flipped the script on her and is giving her some of her medicine and giving her, you chase me. No, I don't care about you leaving your light on. I ain't think about all that. I'm going on out of here. I'm leaving. And she's like, oh, you just going to leave? Uh, okay, well, whatever. Here, the whole time there was this guy that was watching, another officer, he's watching. He didn't snuck and call Eddie. I said, oh, you bitch ass. Who you calling Eddie for, punk? Where's your woman at? Or are you Eddie's woman? What's what's really going on? I think that's what's going on, honey, because he was just all on the phone, just like a little bitch. I said, mm, I want to punch him in his forehead. But Eddie came, then um, by the time he came, Stephen was gone. Rick was on his way out the door because I thought, you know, he was going to get mad at Rick because Rick was sitting there talking to Esperanza. That Rick is fine. I wouldn't put it past her. She might jump on his pole too, Annie. She's slick. But um, he was going out the door and uh, he ended up saying to the guy, call like three, four other guys and y'all go on down to Esperanza's house. He said, because what's going to happen? He said, they ain't doing it, but they said they doing a covert. So they try to throw people off of the trail. He's going to her house. Because he said, I seen him leave with another woman. He said, he's going to her house. Y'all go and do what he got to do what you do. Mess him up. He going to say, yeah. I said, you bastard. I'll be shoot your fucking nuts off. Stupid. But yeah, so he ended up, he needed diversion. Because he said, I'm going to need an alibi for you when y'all fuck him up. So he goes over there and there's this guy over there trying to talk to Esperanza's horse ass. And he goes and picks a, guy, a fight with the guy and hits the guy in the head with a bottle of beer. I said, child, Eddie, you are a mess. And that Eddie is just calculated. And it's always something with Eddie. Somebody is going to rip Eddie's head off. And I am so here for it. He need his ass whooped. He really did. But I'm waiting because I think the person that's going to get Eddie is going to be that Larry. That Larry is going to get Eddie. He done already turned him out. He done turned Eddie out. Eddie was already a freak. He didn't realize he'd been turned out. I believe Eddie done been turned out. I think he is going to end up, he really do like Larry and some of that weird shit Larry's into. I think he enjoyed it, really. That's why he's so damn mad. Anyway, all right, y'all. So that's basically it. And, um... I'll see y'all next week. Our show is back. All right, you guys. Later.